Hello everyone, Chaotic Sully here. Just going to do a quick tutorial on the new website. Well, new beta website. It won't be up for very long, hopefully, but just doing a video to help you guys out in case it's confusing for the transition. So this is the current site, as you probably will know if you're viewing the video. Um, before I get into the tutorial, though, I just want to talk about something. So, recently, the site went down. That was mostly due to because you guys are using the site too much. Yeah, apparently my hosting company pulled the site down because it was causing performance issues for other websites hosted on the same server. So yeah, um, apparently you guys are able to use the site enough to traverse around 4 million database rows in an hour, which is, that's kind of sickening actually when I think about it. Either way, the new site will fix these problems this site was written for a few hundred users, and obviously, you know, 20,000 is not a few hundred. The newer site is definitely written to scale to many thousand users, so it should be good until we hit, like, if we ever get up to, like, a million users, then we might have more problems, but I'll be happy to deal with problems if we get to that point. Either way, this is the current site. We don't need that anymore. By the time this video comes out, mindchaptersquared.com will go to the new site. The URL I'm showing you now is not required for the new site. I'm just using it for now as the beta site. So, winchefter2.com. So, this is the new site. It'll be a little different when the video comes out. Uh, for instance, this note will be different, and the video will be on this side right here. But this is the new site. Uh, homepage, it's exactly the same. It just looks different. Uh, downloads, still there. It's little bit organized better. Forums to links out to our current forums. If you don't have an account yet, please make one and I respond to stuff as quickly as I can. Sometimes over weekends I'll forget to check it, but during the week I generally check it fairly often. Um, then FAQ is also the same. I've added a few extra questions in there, but for the, in, in general it's the same thing. Uh, this site won't look like this for very long. I'm going to relaunch the site with the actual finished version. This version of the site is temporary just because the other site went down for performance issues. This site will perform a lot better. It's going to be used temporarily. The new site will look very similar, might have different colors, different background or something like that, slightly different content, but this is the general gist of what the new site's going to be. Um, the login is now up here. If, you've no if you notice, it's a lot more compressed, essentially. So this bar here used to be about down to like here on the old site. So I tried to make it a little bit more efficient, just space-wise. So just log in with your normal Minecraft account, like always, and it'll bring you. So nothing changes when you log in. Um, just so you know, it doesn't really refresh the page or anything. It actually does, but it doesn't seem like it. Uh, keep your username will come up here and you can just click to drop down to manage skins or log out. The skin manager is very much in beta. It has a lot of bugs in it. If you find bugs, feel free to tell me about them, but don't expect them to be fixed until the site relaunches. If it's something really bad that needs to be fixed immediately, I will do so, of course, but most of these fixes will be rolled into the new new, new site. Um, so your active skin and cape are up here, and then you have your normal library, public library, and then upload new textures. It's a little different than the old site. Your skins and capes are all rolled into one page. So you have you, both your skins and capes here, the public skins and capes here, and then upload there. I'll get to upload in a second. First, I just want to say to add to your library, so it's fine. What, do I, what don't I have? So I only have those two. So to add something new to your library, you just click Add to Library. The page will refresh. You won't get any other visual notification that it's in there, but I clicked on two more skins, and now they're in here. To change your skin, simply click on the skin, and you should see it change up here. Same thing for cape, and you'll see the new cape up here. So, again, that's not the best system in the world. The final system will have a lot more feedback to let you know what actually happened. But for now, it's usable. It's actually usable for now, which is what we're concerned with. Um, and again, next, we'll bring you to multiple pages. 
for those of you who already found this site and started uploading skins, I kind of got a laugh out of that when that happened, but thank you. You gave me test data to work with. Now to upload. Again, there'll be a few more options on the final site, but for now it's simple. You can choose a file to upload. You can name your texture. It's actually required. It won't let you uh, upload a texture without a name. You can make it public immediately if you wish to do so. And then you either select skin or cape. Be very careful. Don't just choose your file, name it, and hit save because uh, it defaults to skin. If you want to upload a cape, make sure you select cape and then just click upload and it will let you know. Um, see, this has some feedback. Texture has a name. This will actually let you know it was uploaded successfully with a green notification here. But that's uploading. Again, public is pretty much straight, pretty straightforward. Your library, straightforward. Uh, manage actually doesn't do anything right now. It brings you to a page that gives you information about the skin. It will do more later on. For public capes and skins, it probably won't do anything. It'll probably do exactly this. It'll tell you, show it to you, give you the name of it, and who uploaded it. Please, please try to give them actual names. GHJG is not a good skin name. I will eventually be putting a search bar in so people can search by name. It would be really helpful to me if you actually named your skin what it is, or even if you just named it skin number by and your name or something along those lines. Just so when people get down to searching for skins, it makes a little bit more sense. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. If again, if you have any problems with the site, let me know. Uh, if there's any, if you run into some serious issues, I will fix them. Otherwise, it will just tip me off on what I need to refine before I relaunch the official new site. Uh, this is temporary. I hope to roll out the new site within the next week. I was planning on rolling out the final site this coming weekend, but then the whole fiasco last weekend happened, and I wasn't able to work on this at all. I had to worry about getting the site up on a different host for now, but kind of cut into development time. Hopefully, I'll still be able to get it out this weekend, but we'll see. This site will be good for now. There will be a new proxy you have to download. I actually just finished working on that. So when you come to the site, make sure you re-download it. Uh, it should remind you when you launch the game that there's a new proxy out. Make sure you download it. This site will not work with the old proxy at all. I completely changed how they interface. Uh, this will make things a lot easier going forward, especially with some of the new features I have planned, like server lists, the ability to uh, save old versions of the game. So when mine Mojang rolls out a brand new version of Minecraft and my annoying thing pops up saying, oh, do you want to delete the old version and update? That won't happen anymore. Essentially, it will automatically update you. It'll save the old version. And if any of your servers use an old Minecraft version or use Bucket so they're a little bit slower to update once a new version comes out, you can go back and roll back to the old version keeping the new one intact. That's not going to be available with the current proxy, but that's a planned feature, for example. And the way I work with it makes it better for now. But that's pretty much it. Um, you can stop watching now if that's all you needed. I'm going to just mention a few other quick things for those of you who actually care. This new site, like I said, it's a work in progress. If there's anything any features that you like, and I've said this before, but I actually mean this. For example, the new proxy will hide the files for you. The minecraft.jar and minecraftmodified.jar will not be there anymore. They will be hidden away in um, just how you have a .minecraft folder. I created a .minecrafter squared folder in the same exact place. So it's easy to find. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, don't worry about it. It's not important. But that was a feature everyone requested. And when I had the chance to, I built it in. So if you guys actually have feature requests, please let me know about them. Sometimes something you think might be complicated is actually quite easy to do, at least in my opinion. And easy features that I like to roll those out because it's easy for me to do. It creates new features for you guys and it makes people use the service more, which is I'm trying to grow this service right now. Um, 
You guys have been great. You've been really supportive, and I really appreciate it. Um, you can feel free to, you know, advertise for the site just to your friends. Don't go crazy. Don't spend money. Just, you know, try to get the name out there. I'm trying to grow the site a bit. Um, hopefully, if I get enough users to make enough money on the site through the ads to pay for the hosting and a little bit more, I will actually spend more time working on it. I've almost made enough money to pay for the hosting. Uh, just to let you guys know where I'm at. Since it launched six months, seven months ago, I think, I've only made a, barely enough to cover the hosting. So it's been picking up, though. So if I start making a little bit more, I'll actually put more effort into making new features for the site, like the server lists, like I've explained. Um, and other ideas I have I don't want to really disclose right now. But, yeah. So... Quick last point, server lists. I know I've been talking about the feature for a very long time. I know I've, a lot of people have been asking for it. It's in the works. When the feature launches, you'll see why it took so long. This new site is part of it. I wouldn't have been able to make the server lists with the old site, at least in the way I want to do them. The new site makes it a lot easier. I'm using technology that streamlines the whole process, so it's going to be a lot quicker to make. The server lists are essentially going to be linked with the proxy program. So it, when you run a server, it'll automatically set up your stuff on the, on the site. It won't force you to go public with it. You can just set up the server and not worry about it. Uh, or you can then log into the site and set it public and change all your settings and all that stuff. So the new site was required for that feature to even happen in that way. But when you see the final implementation of it, I think you're going to really like it. And it should make more sense as to why it took me so long to make it. And again, I'm the only one working on this. There's no one else. So big, large upgrades like this site take me a while. It took me about a month and a half to get it into this shape. It's going to take me a little bit longer to finish it up and then make the server lists. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope this was informative enough for you to help you out with the transition to this temporary site. Once I relaunch the site, I'll make a few more tutorial videos. I will definitely finally make tutorial videos on how to compile the proxy for your own server if you want to do that, uh, want, want to run your own auth server. I will show you how to set up the auth server, how to do all that, compile the proxy for your players. I will, I'll make videos all for that once I get the new site up a little bit more. Those videos are in the works. Uh, thank you for bearing with me with all the delays. Uh, certain things just keep going wrong like this past weekend, but I think things are starting to come together. This site should be really good. Um, yeah, so thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting Minecraft, my chapter squared and Minecraft in general. Support Mojang. They're a great company. Um, yeah, I will see you guys around the internet. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much it.